Okay, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use mm, this tutorial to get the basic form of a helicopter. Uh, this will enable you to get a pretty good helicopter model without using any image planes and, you know, without spending hours and hours in trying to get a decent looking model. The main idea about this is you basically want to get the form. So we're going to go ahead and start with the box. Go ahead and put this over here. Okay, so we're just going to start out with a simple cube, just like you see here. And then we're going to edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, there. Now we're going to go to edge take this edge and go ahead and just bring it back good face it's a very fast way of modeling insert edge loop tool nope don't do that go to face edit mesh extrude bring that out and in scale it in scale it in a bit you can tell this whole thing is slightly, slightly too wide. Okay. Add mesh. Insert edge loop. We'll put one right back here. And what they did is, we're going to go to vertex, highlight these vertices, grab your scale tool, and go ahead and scale it flat, just like that. That'll make it straight. And then you go to edge, grab this edge, and hit W on your keyboard. Just go ahead and bring it up just like they did here. I'm going to highlight all these and bring them in a bit. Okay. So there you go. And then what they did was they went to this face and you go to add a mesh extrude. Scale it a bit. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, extrude it again. Just hit G on your keyboard. And then take your scale tool. And that'll do it. Okay. Moving on. We're going to insert an edge loop in the middle. Good enough. And then you're going to go to edges, take these edges, <coughs> excuse me, and bring them back just like that. There you go. Now what it does here, if you look, we're going to take a full screen this for a second. As you can tell, he smooths it. We're not going to smooth it yet. He knows, though, from the smoothing, he needs to insert some edge loops like that. You see these going this way? We need to insert a bunch of those. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go down to this image, and we're going to go ahead and, and put in a bunch. So we'll put in one there, one here, excuse me, and then we'll uh, put in one here. Microphone's getting in the way of my shirt here. Um, looks good. We're going to put one up here. Then we're going to put a couple this way. One. You can take your scale tool and just scale that flat if you want. Don't don't stress out too much about that. We'll go to here. And go to there. Let's try to get them as evenly spaced as possible. Okay, so there you go. Now we're going to make this little wing here. Grab these two. And grab the same ones on the bottom.
add a mesh extrude. Let's go ahead and do that. Then go to vertex, grab that, grab that, bring it in. Just going to highlight them all, bring them out a bit, and then we're going to insert an edge loop right in the middle. Right about there. And that'll uh, maintain the the edge. So watch, if I go to smooth this, it looks pretty good. Alright, moving on. Now you want to grab the ones on the side and <clears throat> this is going to be a little tricky because we don't have as many edges as this guy. Alright, and you'll notice one thing he did. So he kind of rounded out the um, plane just a bit, but not a big deal. We'll go ahead and do the sides best we can. Let's keep this over here for reference. All right, so I'm going to grab these two and these two, and I'm going to do an edit mesh extrude. I'm going to scale them in. Whoop! No, I'm going to do it like this. This way. And that way. Okay, and now I'm going to add a mesh extrude again. I'm just going to take them, pull them out. Okay, take my scale tool again, and scale them in. Okay, I'm going to redo this. I'm just hitting control. I'm hitting control Z a couple of times. I'm going to make this a little bit thinner before I uh, extrude it out. That's better. Try that one more time. That's good. Okay. Ah, uh, is it not cooperating with me here? Okay, there we go. So what I need to do is just fix this a little bit. I I could fix that later. Okay, there we go. It's good. This got a little wacky, so we're going to fix this. I'm just go into vertex mode, and I'm just going to bring it back. You may have not had this error. Hopefully you didn't. It's kind of annoying to fix. I'm just going to go ahead and scale it flat here. I'm going to bring this back, bring this up. Beautiful. Okay. The only thing I'm going to do now is grab this face and just scale it in like that. And do the same here. I'm going to top view. I'm just going to fix this a bit. I'm going to go to vertex. I'm going to take this and bring it in like that. Okay, bring these over. This could be a little tricky part of modeling, just trying to get it to uh, kind of look right here. Okay, it's pretty good. There's better ways to model stuff symmetrically. Let's go ahead and scale those out. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Now, if you look what, what this guy's doing, he's adding some details up here. He's adding some edge loops. Let's move this over. And he's rounding out the top. So, put one right down here. 
And he's doing this. He's, uh, or she, is going to Vertex. You're going to bring this out, just like that. And I'm going to go to here, take these two, hit Q, and these two. And I'm going to bring these in. I'm going to do the same down here. Right. And you can choose to do the same on the bottom. Doesn't make a huge difference. It just it, it'll look a little bit better. That's all. All these little details. If you add enough of them in, your your model will look, you know, a lot better than than what it would if you didn't. It's kind of how modeling works. Okay. And if you look. This guy also does the same thing here. Okay, and you're going to vertex, highlight these. You're going to just squeeze them, squeeze them in a bit. Now before we do that, let's do one more thing. Let's insert an edge loop here. What this will do is when we go to vertex here and, and squeeze these in, It'll uh, maintain the. It'll maintain the shape. So, it looks a bit nicer now. All right. See that? It looks good. We're just going to go ahead and do the same to the other side. All right. And there you go. And the last part we're going to do is just the top of this. I'm not going to do that all right now. I'll actually do that in the next video. But there's one thing we could do before we wrap it up here. So if you go to these faces, select them with the paintbrush tool and lift them up. Now go to Vertex and highlight these. like that. You'll just round your uh, your heli out and it'll look a little bit better. I'm going to do the same on the edges here. This edge and this edge and just uh, bring them in a bit. Whoops. Just be careful when you're selecting um, vertices. You don't want to Like if you ever do that, just hit Control and to and roll over to deselect. Whoops! So hold down Control. Okay, go to here. There we go. And there it is. Very good. Okay, so we're going to call it a day here, and then the next video we'll, uh, we'll finish up. Let's just go ahead and smooth this, see what it looks like. That looks good. Looks like a helicopter. All right.